Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another power cube stack from HGLRC. And this one's a little bit different from the one that I reviewed previously, the uh, XJV F428. This is the XJV F413 TX20. And basically the only difference between this one and that one is that this one comes with a 13 amp 4-in-1 ESC and not a 28 amp 4-in-1 ESC. And this bundle comes with the new ELF camera. So I'll show you what that is. And then uh, actually I'm going to do a separate video on the camera itself because that's a pretty lengthy video and I don't want to make this one too long. But let me show you the stack that I reviewed before. This was sent to me by GearBest. So you get the TX20 video transmitter on top. You get the F4 flight controller. And then you get the 28 amp 4 in 1 EC. You can see that the 28 amp 4 in 1 EC is pretty big. It, the, the motor wire or the solder points for the motor wires do hang over the edge of the board here. And then when you look at what comes with this bundle here with a 13 amp ESC, this ESC does not have that overhang. It's a lot smaller. And obviously it makes sense because it's a lower um, amperage or lower current for the ESC. And we'll put them side by side here. And you see the 13 amp ESC is smaller. Now, HGLRC, they basically have these parts and they bundle them in different ways. Sometimes they'll bundle the F4 with the 13 amp ESC. So they have basically three, I think, three different SKUs for the ESC. They have the 10 amp ESC, 13 amp ESC, and the 28 amp ESC. And then they have um, two different flight controllers. They have the F4 flight controller and then the F3 flight controller. And so they'll kind of mix and match these parts and make them into different bundles. So this happens to be one bundle where you have an F4 flight controller with uh, a 13 amp 4 and 1 ESC. So these, these two go together like this. And they're all compatible so you can mix and match them. The, the ESCs have the pins on them like you see here. And then the uh, flight controllers have the connector on the bottom like so. And that's how they would go together. So they're meant to go together or they're meant to be compatible with each other. So, so people are asking, will these work with um, other ESCs? And my guess is probably not because you're going to have to solder to these points over here, which is going to be pretty difficult for the uh, signal wires. And I don't see, or, or, or I'm not aware of any other uh, solder points for the motor signal wires for the ESCs. So uh, hopefully that answers people's questions about that. The TX20 on both of these is exactly the same. Put them here side by side. And you see there's no difference between them two. these two. They're exactly the same. So you can go to the HGLRC website and they have different bundles with, you can pick different combinations. If you want to say like an F3 flight controller with a 10 amp ESC, then that would be, that would be like probably called the F310. And so you can, you can kind of get, get an idea of how the naming scheme is going to be. Sometimes they'll bundle just these two together. Sometimes they'll bundle it with the video transmitter, sometimes not. And then sometimes they'll include the camera. They, all of these are also available separately as well. If you guys are wondering and, uh, the uh, camera is also available separately. So I'm not going to actually build this out because you can kind of imagine what it's going to look like. It'll look pretty much the same here with these standoffs. Just the, obviously the bottom part here will be different. It'll have the 13 amp PC instead of the 28 amp PC, but essentially it's going to be exactly the same. And if you want to see uh, a little more information about this in the other video, I'll put a card in the corner to this so you can watch that so that this video doesn't go too long. Now this bundle does come with the camera and the, ex the accessories or the cables that are come with the camera. So you have the basically the connections for the camera, you have extra cables here and the screws for mounting. And essentially it's kind of like a Runcam Swift Micro. You can see the casing looks the same uh, except it's black. It's a little bit different on the plastic here. The lens is a little bit different as well. I think this is a 2.3 millimeter lens, but it's a, it's not as big as the one on the, on the Swift Micro. And then you have the same uh, connections on the uh, back of the camera, 5 to 36 volts ground video, and then you have the 2-pin uh, connector for your OSD joystick. This does not come with the OSD joystick, however the one that comes with the uh, Microsoft does work with this one. So if you guys are wondering how to get to the settings, uh, you would use that. I'll have a separate video on this camera, and I'll actually go over this camera in more detail. and get an idea what the field of view is like, what the image quality is like, and that, that's a separate video because this, this this video is about this power stack. So anyway, that's going to do it for this uh, quick overview of the 
XJB F413 TX20 ELF. So that's this particular bundle. I'll put a link in the description to this bundle. Go check out their website. They do offer these parts in different combinations and also individually if you are just interested in certain parts. So definitely go check out their website and look at the different parts that they offer. And uh, you can, def oh, like I said, you can definitely mix and match these and put them together any way you want. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.